Disclaimer, this video may be a week old, but it's still relevant. Enjoy. Hello, my loyal subjects. Heather Blossom here. What's the matter? Don't recognize your normally equine princess of... stuff? Well, my sudden change of appearance is no cause for alarm. I've merely altered my appearance in the spirit of the holidays. St. Patrick's Day. <sighs> Unlike most people, I don't treat St. Patrick's Day like it's the Thanksgiving of spring. Though I do actually like Thanksgiving. Not that I'm particularly religious or anything, I mostly just like that it's a chance to plan what I wear and it's the time of year one can eat the most savory of dishes. Corned beef. With cabbage! Well, with all that out of the way, you must be wondering, why Pokemon? Sure, it's a grass type, when grass types are usually green. But I probably could have just put a shamrock on my pony OC or something, right? Well, I also took up a new avatar to match the subject of this video, my top 10 grass Pokemon list. Why grass? It's not just because they're usually green, if that's what you were thinking, but because grass type Pokemon are my favorite type, and I feel like they can be incredibly underappreciated. People are so quick to snag Charmander or Squirtle thinking of their final evolutions. And yeah, Charizard looks like a cool dragon you could ride into battle, and Blastoise has flipping cannons coming out of his shell. But what about Venusaur? He's pretty dang cool too. Sure, maybe he doesn't have flashy accessories or the sleekest look. That doesn't mean he should be so easily overlooked. Now, before we get rolling, let me reiterate. This is my top 10, not yours. So if I don't have your favorites on here, don't complain. Make your own list. In fact, if you do, post it down below in the comments so I can have a look-see. Maybe there are a few I might find cool as well. Also, I'm only picking one Pokemon per evolution. With that said, let's hop in. Number 10. Breloom. A fighting and grass type, Breloom is the evolved form of... that thing. This is one of those evolutions where I seriously wonder where the missing link is. I mean, how does that go to this? Or this into that for that matter? Or, you know what, I'm gonna stop myself before I go any further. Back to Breloom. This placement is more out of sentiment than anything else, since I have a Breloom that I raised from a shroomish in Pokemon Omega Ruby, and I've grown attached. I also enjoy its appearance for a mushroom Pokemon. Nice colors, looks kinda like a dinosaur, and the only other mushroom Pokemon I can think of is Fungus. And nobody likes Fungus. We already had one Pokemon that looked like a Pokeball. We didn't need another! Number 9. Leafeon. It is nearly impossible to do a top 10 list of any Pokemon type without mentioning one of the evolutions. To recap, in case you don't remember or are trying to forget, this evolution starts with Eevee and evolves into any of eight forms depending on what stone you use or how you raise it. In my case, I received an Eevee through a trade and just carried it around on my team until one day. Da, 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 da. It was then that I fully realized my destiny as a grass trainer. Cause seriously, that's when I first noticed that more than half my team was grass Pokemon. Number 8. Torterra. Torterra is a dual type of grass and ground, and I was certainly surprised to find out it's only supposed to be a little over 7 feet tall. I mean, seriously, look at that thing! It's got a tree growing out of it! How big's that tree supposed to be? 3 feet? Oh well, still big enough to ride into battle, and with a move like Rock Slide booted up, we should have no problems. What more is there to say about this big guy? Have him learn Earthquake and only the flying types will be able to escape. But not for long. Everybody's gotta land sometime. Number 7. Snivy. This was an extremely tough call. I had to decide between the regal and majestically amazing Superior, or the smug and obnoxiously adorable Snivy. And then there was Servine. Yeah, so... Snivy ended up being my choice since when I finally tuned back into the anime after a long hiatus, it was the grass Pokemon starter. When Ash caught his own, I found that she was the one I wanted to watch the most. Beyond her grass-type appeal, we see her display a confident yet humble attitude. Her go-to attack was attract, and she knew how to use it. But never would she use it for something selfish. Unlike some Pokemon! Number 6. Bulbasaur. So, why not Venusaur, the Pokemon I was ranting about in the beginning? Well, this is again something more sentimental. Back when I was a kid and watching the anime, Bulbasaur was one of my favorite among Ash's Pokemon. He was cool, yet cute. I loved his voice, and he looked like a weird cat for some reason. I guess it's the ears? Anyways, if I had a chance to get Pokemon Leaf Green version on, like, Game Boy Advance or something, I would freak the flip out. And newsflash, I just won an auction on eBay for Pokemon Leaf Green. I'm freaking the flip out! 